You being a good boy. Are you being a good boy? You know, not wanting to spend that much money on entry panel boxes. I'd much rather spend that money on radios and stuff like that, right? Shopping around on eBay and I found these internet access boxes that were being sold. And I'm going to share that seller with you so you can capitalize on this opportunity as well. But these were under 20 bucks. Not by much, but still under 20. I think with shipping, I paid uh, 50 something or maybe 60 for the both of them. You know, and they, they came in a fairly big box and very well packed too. So kudos to the seller. Again, I will tell you who exactly that is at the end of the video here because I think this is a great opportunity for anyone who needs boxes like this. If you're not going to spend tons of money on a, a really super fancy one, this is your best bet, I would say. Phillips box. I don't know what kind of plastic it is, but it is plastic. Just has one, I believe it's probably a 10 millimeter, but also flathead. It's got a nice rubber weather seal around the lid there and spacious interior. And one of the things I love about the inside here is it's got a ground lug right there. It's got grommeted ports there, which you can cut and slice and wrap around your, you know, your coax, make it, make it weatherproof. It's got a little grommet for a drain hole there. I think I'm going to pop that out and not use it. I popped it out of the other one already because I want to try to get a bigger uh, ground cable up through there and use that. I'm not too concerned about being totally weatherproof to be quite honest because for the past couple years I had my old runs of LMR 400 laying on the ground just in the dirt, rain, and everything else. So I didn't even put any effort into anything for that and they went just fine and they came apart just fine. There was no rust corrosion, no nothing like that. So. This is light years ahead of what I had before. So I found a few things that are gonna work out great here. And this is what I came up with. As you can see, I got a bus. It's just a copper strap. I think probably inch and a half wide copper strap. I cut it to fit. These are those, you know, cheesy lightning arresters that have the screw on the back of them where you can put a wire uh, terminal you know and I just drilled holes in the copper strap and just mounted them straight to it with a couple 90 degrees here and there I didn't have a female to female to go in between this one here so I used the you know the little pass-through panel thing there but I, I work with what I got here I don't like to buy stuff if I don't have to so I don't speaking of which these I couldn't find any bolts to find these threaded holes. They're very wide thread pitch. I want to say it's like 1.5 or maybe even 1.75. Really strange thread pitch. I have a lot of nuts and bolts laying around and I cannot find anything to fit that. But what I found are these little push pins and I have the, the center of them is, they're not inserted yet because I wanted to be able to pop it in and out more easily. But these are just automotive, little plastic automotive push pins. These are actually uh, BMW. I think these are the little rivets that hold the the plastic fender well skirts around the outside of a, like an X5. I got some little copper strap here, braided. I just doubled that up. I installed that with just a pan head screw and a J nut on the back, you know, the kind of nut that slides, slides onto something. And I realized after the fact that that would not create a very good copper to copper connection there, right? So I ended up putting the J nut pop this up here see it's just a just a little pin put the center of it in there and it kind of stabs it in place but with the J nut that I did here I just put it on the back right so that on the front side this is a full copper to copper connection with the this bus strap here whatever you want to call it as well as being bonded to the lug over here uh, this is metric just a standard eight millimeter I think 1.0 pitch I put a big washer at the bottom of this of the lug there and then I got this weird clippy thing when I was looking for washers and I figured that might be cool I might be able to run uh, some solid wire through that little hole and kind of come up with a little something something there but this is all stuff I had laying around I'm gonna try to get this installed on my house from what I understand after talking to somebody at the hardware store and watching a couple of videos I think 
I'm just going to use some regular old Molly anchors like you would put in your drywall, right? Mark where I'm going to install that and put it right over top of that ugly patch there. I would have just left the dent in my house, but I, I don't want to be that janky, right? I like to get her done, but I also don't want it to be super janky. Just kind of like regular janky, not super janky. So anyhow, that's where I'm at right now. I think this turned out pretty well. I haven't done this one yet just because I wanted to make sure this install went well and all that. But man, I think these are great boxes for 18 bucks. I think 18 something they were before tax and shipping and everything else and, and eBay fees and all that. But I will definitely share that listing with you. Now let's see if we can get one of these mounted up. All right. Well, I can confirm, thanks to internet and hardware store guy, that these regular, regular old Molly anchors that you would put in drywall they do work for stucco. I've got this thing mounted up there and it is rock solid. But one thing you'll notice that I like about this box is these little tabs. I don't know if you can see it. This little plastic tab. That's for a zip tie. So you can zip tie and secure your cable right there. So what's next? Uh, ground. Let's see what kind of ground wire. I did this braid. That braided strap. I might just do the braided strap from that ground wire to here. I feel like that's a good place to put a real nice strap right before going in the house. All right, went digging around in my stash here, see what we can come up with. I got a few things. Oh, also I put a new handle on Grandpa's uh, hatchet today. It turned out pretty good. I got to put the, the thing in the thing there, but man, that's a good one. Check that out. Clean cut from San Francisco, circa 1940s. I got a few things. I got your random solid core uh, ground wire. This is the strap that I made that that bus out of don't know where I got it probably Amazon inch and a half maybe two inches wide so wanted to show this as well because I almost used this for the bus bar I got this at Hobby Lobby it's copper plate made by k &S precision metals uh, it was eight dollars this thing is pretty thick I got this this is the strap that I use that braided strap that connects the the lug to the ground bus in there and then I found this as well. This is copper strap as well, but it's tinned, tinned copper strap. So I'm wondering if it might just use that. Maybe that will be more resistant to the elements going from my little ground rod up to the box here. So I think I'm going to go with that um, for what it's worth. I don't know. I'm going to do that because reasons. All right. Well, there you have it. I think that turned out pretty nice. That tinned copper braid down to the ground rod, up into the box. Cables zip tied onto the little tabs through the grommets. All right. I have my second coax I need to run up through the attic. My intention is to use the LMR 400 for HF radio and the LMR 240 for um, VHF and, and UHF radio. Pretty darn good for doing something on the cheap like that, which is what most ham radio operators are interested in. Anyhow, here goes the listing for these boxes. Right? I mean, look at that. It looks, it looks almost professional, right? Dare I say, I would never I would never accuse myself of being a professional. And this is uh, not sponsored. I'm not making any money off this at all. I found these on eBay and the guy has a lot of them, right? So I just reached out to him and offered to um, promote his listing for him, his eBay listing. I don't know if it gets a whole lot better than that for 20 bucks. You know, obviously if you don't have the rest of the stuff laying around, then that's additional expenses for you, but I'm cheap, you're cheap get her done right whiskey six enjoy